There's a lot of stories, ancient scripts, Poseidon's favorite animal, the god of the sea, an extraterrestrial creature that just uses the beach for three nights every summer. Their hatchlings need to go out as well. They need some space to go by themselves to the water and swim. We want to make sure that it's possible, now and in the future. People have been intentionally injuring this animal for some reason of their own. Fishermen are angry because it destroys their fishing gear. Injured turtles come from all over Greece, are being treated and then released when they are ready to back to the sea. They are very ancient animals. They are very close to dinosaurs, actually. How do they learn? They have the reptile's brain, very old animals. You're reminded you're not alone on this planet. You know, there's something going on. Most of the visitors would like to help. Most of the locals would like to make money. How to live in this public space? One of my favorite activities, the lights uh, here on the island, it's uh, when I go out, explore the plants, listen uh, to their rhythms. How they wake up, how they go to bed, how they uh, dance during the different seasons of the year. Birth to death from morning to evening from winter to the summer. Beautiful and strong reminder how to find my own rhythm in life. We saw listening to the elders, how they sustain themselves and how they heal themselves from the plants. I uh, become even more inspired. The plants are a very good uh, Paradigm, a very good example of healthy living. In this uh, paradise, one of the privileges is to be exposed to the elements. Like the plants, we are exposed to strong elements. We have the sun, the earth, we have uh, the winds, and we have, of course, the water. This is an island that is surrounded by water. My mother, she's 91 year old. We counted about 65 herbs that you can eat raw or to cook in, in different ways. We give emphasis on the medicinal use of the herbs. This is very important knowledge and we try to register it before the elders go because then we lose this information. This is the local sage, Salvia uh, triloba, the species of the islands here. Fantastic companion to the to the human. It's good for body, mind, and spirit. spirit. We can say that for sage. It regulates different functions. If you have a low blood pressure, it raises it. If you have mm -hmm. high blood pressure, it lowers it. it. Can sustain you and nourish you, but it can also illuminate you. This process of distillation 
It is, in fact, a very basic form of uh, alchemy. A transition from something material, from the herb, for example, into something essential, into something etheric, into something more atmospheric. The Greek uh, word for uh, steam is atmos, so atmosphere, it's a sphere of atmos. That's why I like this word atmosphere to express the other dimension, the consciousness, the energy, or however you like to call it. Water has this incredible ability to adapt and take the shape of everything that covers or any obstacle that the water finds can overcoming just by going another direction. physical world with one breath, an inhalation, a cry, a song. We go with one exhalation. This in between time that we are quiet and we wait for the next inhalation to come is our connection with overcoming our fears, connecting more with the peacefulness. years old. I was with my father in the, in the port and I saw people to dive there with their wetsuits. My father asked me, what, what do you want to do? I want to 
have a wetsuit and I want to dive like them. This street was my dream. Everybody can do it, everybody can try with only one breath to go underwater. It's when you start to feel uh, free in the water, when you start to feel uh, no weight. Tattoos don't, don't want to teach us anything. It's what we want to learn from them, right? To learn that the beach is not ours. We shouldn't have plastic in the oceans. The animals are clearly suffering from that. We see it in dead and injured turtles. They, they have swallowed plastic. It's not good news. We need to be careful about it. I mean, don't take it for granted. There are impacts. That's what they teach us, I think. Thinking all the time. I could, I could like fill a little book with what I'm thinking. Fill every rock. Just do this, and you'll have plastic. This is not even microplastic. This is like the really small one, which you can't see. Προσέχουμε για να έχουμε. The more we are aware, the more we care, the less wear and tear. One thing is for sure, 
we will not collect uh, sage March and April because it's during these two months that the blossoms come out. The bees have priority. The seeds are going to fall down with the wind eventually. And as they fall on the ground, they have a, a good chance to grow. Sage is such a strong survivor. It can grow uh, out uh, of a stone. And this is what we uh, visit here. Managed to live 10 months almost without rain. Adapted very well to very dry and harsh conditions here. These uh, olive trees, some of them can be 1,000 year old. How we find ourselves here among this uh, family of plants, is it a coincidence? As we say uh, in the Iyama, it is a, a coexist dance. If we want to make this sustainable, creative and uh, joyful and harmonious, we better put our heart in it. The plant knows we are here, is listening. And if we come with uh, not so good intention, the plant communicates that to the neighboring plants. <laughs> In that moment, they will either yield or uh, retract. It's not just sensitive. In fact, it is a, a sentient being. Cut uh, branches up to a level, leaving behind uh, buds so that in the winter they will uh, sprout again. Thank you, you're a beauty. We uh, live uh, from this air and from this light, and so do the plants. The atmosphere that all these things are flourishing into, including us. This is Meraki to put uh, our heart in what we're doing. Be aware of the breathing as it feels the heart energy, as though you are in the water and the arms are moved by the waves. Swimming in space, the common heart is
was since the 28th of June this year. She came to the rescue center with a head injury. It was quite severe. Even her ear was affected. We managed to actually release her today. She was diving, swimming perfectly and eating on her own. We were all quite amazed because she made a very quick recovery. One turtle injured and saved doesn't mean a lot to the population in the Mediterranean, but it means a lot to us. We are observing them. We are doing this with a lot of enthusiasm. We have not lost our interest all these years, and I think it goes on. When we are born, first we move in rhythm, and then we speak. First of all is non-verbal communication that can open our hearts and can connect our souls. Secondly, we are dancing creatures. We are singing beings. We are creative beings. When we go into moving our bodies in rhythm, in the rhythms of nature, in the rhythms of music, in the rhythm of our breathing, then we connect so fast with our loving self. So it's not about being good at dancing, being good at singing, being good in flowing in the water or speaking to the trees. This is an offer. I see movement as a spiritual path. I see dance as a meditation. I see singing and dancing linked together as an offer of gratitude to life. Sometimes people uh, speak of ecology as though it is something to be achieved and if it is something away from us that we have to, uh, to bring uh, close. But in fact, we are uh, ecology. Eco means the home. To be eco-conscious, it means to be at home. fully aware of where we live and that uh, includes of course ourselves but also what surrounds us then there will be balance <laughs>